Hi, John here, and I'm going to show you how to install Google's version of TalkBack on a Samsung phone. And two things you're going to need are first to go to the Play Store and make sure you have Android Accessibility Suite installed on your phone. If you have a Samsung phone, this will not be installed by default, so you're going to need to go to the Play Store and install it. The other thing you're going to need is the zip file that will be provided in the video description below. And once you have that zip file on your PC and you have Android Accessibility Suite installed on your phone, you can continue with this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into settings. Notification shade, open settings, button. Settings, search settings, button. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom. About phone, status legal information, phone name. About phone, Tap navigate on out, button. About phone, and then you're going to find... Status information, legal information, software information. Software information. Software information, navigate out, button. Then you're going to find your build number and double tap on it a few times. Build number, sp 282 you are now four step. You are now three steps. You are now two steps. You are now one step away. Confirm pattern. Navigate up button. So I double tapped on it seven times. Now I'm going to need to confirm my pattern. Developer mode has been turned on. Software information. Build number. SP. About. Settings. Then you're going to back up to your main settings screen again. And at the bottom, there should be developer options now. Developer options. Developer options. Developer options, navigate up, button. And once you're in developer options, you're going to look for USB debugging. Picture, web, auto, dem, quick setting, deep, USB debugging, debug mode when USB is connect. Allow USB debugging. USB debugging is in cancel, OK, button. Double tab on USB debugging and then hit OK. Developer options, USB debugging, debug mode when USB is connected, on, switch. After you've done that, you're going to get your USB cable and connect the phone to the PC. Charging started battery level 90%. New documentation from autoplay. John C. Fold 4. Select to choose what happens with this device. Okay. One, one. Window. Now once it's connected. USB debugging. Quick settings developer you might, tiles. You might get a pop-up at this point. But, and if you do, you just... Check the box that says um, always allow and then hit OK. But I didn't get the pop up just yet, and that's sometimes that happens, and that's OK. You'll get it later on in the process. So now I'm going to my PC, and I'm going to, I'm in my downloads folder right now. I'm going to find this zip file. Install Google Talkback on Samsung phone. Two of three. Selected. This is the zip file you will have downloaded to your PC already. I'm going to open the context menu for it. Context. Menu. Open. Open in new with share with Skype. Extract all. Menu item. Go to menu. extract all. Extract compressed. Zip. Folders window. Files will be extracted to this folder. Edit. See cold browse. Button. Show extracted files when complete checkbox checked. Alt plus H. I'm going to make sure that box is checked. Extract button completes the wizard. Cancel button. Install and Google talk back on Samsung phone window. Items view. Enter table items view. One by four. Install. So Google now it's Google extracted. Auto. Install Google talk back on Samsung phone. One of one. Selected. I'm going to go into the folder. Items view. Exit table. To remove Samsung. One enable Google talk back. One of 13. Selected. So there's two batch files that I added to this folder. This folder is the normal platform tools for ADB, but I added two batch files so that you won't have to bring up a command prompt and enter commands yourself. So one file will enable Google's version of TalkBack. The other file will remove Samsung's version of TalkBack. And the reason I did it in two files instead of one is because you're definitely going to want to make sure before you remove Samsung's version that you're currently using 
Google's version, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is to remove Samsung one, enable Google talk back one of 13 selected. I'm going to hit enter on this. Text area editing. C colon backslash users backslash John backslash allow download, USB backslash debugging install, install Google. So like I said, I didn't get the pop up earlier, but now I have it. The computer's RSA key fingerprint not checked. Checkbox checked. Always allow cancel button allow button. So I hit always allow and now I'm going to double tap on allow. Developer options, quick settings, developer tiles. OK, so now I'm going to have to run this command again because it failed because it didn't have permission the first time to remove set one, enable Google talk back one of 13 selected. No Talk. item in view. Developer See, options. Backslash users, Never backslash backslash button. John M backslash okay, so now that I've run that, I'm going to go back to my phone. What should have happened is it should have enabled Google's version of TalkBack and disabled Samsung's version. So you'll know it happened because you'll probably get a tutorial coming up for you and you'll probably get a pop-up also asking you to allow permission to make phone calls. But even after that, you're going to want to double check and make sure that you're running Google's version. So you're going to bring up the talkback menu. Talkback menu. Hide screen. Describe image. Talkback settings. You're going to go to talkback settings. Talkback settings. Nav go all the way to the bottom. Open TalkBack at the Play Store. Current TalkBack version 13.0. And it says open TalkBack at the Play Store. If it says that, then you're good. You're using Google's version. If it says use open TalkBack from the Galaxy Store, then you are not using Google's version and something's gone wrong. So do not continue with the next step because it will disable your screen reader. But because we've confirmed that we're using Google's version, I'm going to go down to the next item on my PC. To remove Samsung TalkBack, 2 of 13, selected. I'm going to hit enter on this. Text area, install Google TalkBack on Samsung phone window, items view, enter table items view, 13 by 4. To remove Samsung TalkBack, 2 of 13, C colon backslash users backslash John M. Okay, now, in order to find out if this worked, we're going to... Go to the accessibility settings. Developer options. Navigate up. Settings. Accessibility. Mono audio assistant menu. Accessibility. Navigate up. But recommended for you using one function. Now you'll notice. More options. But recommended for you. Visibility enhancements. There's no talk back at the top like there used to be. And that's a good sign. That means we've removed Samsung's version. And if we go down to. Installed apps, 13 apps, one new app available. Installed apps. Installed apps. Talkback will now be in this list. Talkback on. Before, when Samsung's version is installed, Talkback is hidden from this list. So that's why you need to remove Samsung's version once you get Google's version up and running. Talkback. Navigate up button. So we can go into here and it's already turned on. Talkback on switch. But what you're going to want to make sure you do is talk back shortcut press item volume of keys assign it to a shortcut so that you can be able to toggle it on and off um, so once you have it assigned to a shortcut then you're basically ready to just continue using google's version and that's basically all there is to this tutorial